the, the key point on this one is uh, when you see a stock like this one and every time it gets to like support and resistance, uh, it has uh, and like it had some sort of, uh, you know, uh, save right back through, uh, you know, right back. Uh, so that means, you know, someone is manipulating that or it's like someone is trying to hold the stock at certain level. Like uh, in this case, it was like 4.4, right? Someone has been trying to hold that so that it wouldn't go lower for them to sell it higher, right? And of course, you know, uh, they would be happy to be selling into six, seven or whatever, but uh, their goal or like, you know, maybe their game plan, like, you know, like the algos, they, they, they want to sell uh, some at here at the resistance. As you can see here, they dump like tons of shares into this one, into this candle, which is like almost like a million share on this one on this particular candle going from four to four fifty you see that uh you know someone you know like been selling like a million shares already and so you know like on something uh you know like this the only way for you to be able to take advantage of the move is usually define your resistance or like define the area of interest uh, so that you can take advantage of the move, right? There is, I mean, realistically, if you look at the chart, there is real, like stock wasn't up that much. Okay. In the morning was like barely 30%, right? I mean, you can see here the range, uh, 15 days already. What happened in here? Let me put on a daily, see if I can, you know, see this. I mean, you know, like it went down from like 10 to this point. So, uh, and today was like the most traded volume uh, on that one. And as you can see, I mean, uh, the five whole and half dollar mark, uh, you know, like as, as I always said, uh, you know, all the time. Uh, five five fifty right uh, and you can see here clearly the idea behind this is they're trying to push it into that area and then sell it right because why just ignore all the move before okay the first one okay here is like two hundred thousand shares so they pump it up and then they sold into the five and as you can see so it went down push back and every time it gets to five it gets sold off okay and someone has been selling here for 80 year five 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 you see it like you know this area or like this five area uh is, is really struggling with a lot of selling going on right and as you can tell you know as soon as as the market opens uh here it popped just a little bit uh, you know, near that five line rejects, push back here. And then they, they try to, you know, <clears throat> like run it higher, but it's just like the supply, I think on this one, it's just like too big. Uh, <clears throat> not sure if you, uh, notice the dilutions on that as well. Uh, yes, you have to respect the trend line. You have to respect the prior action. I mean, if you see something wrong, you have to get out. Okay. Here, everyone thinking it's going to break that 550, right? Just going their stuff, going their stuff, going their stuff. Everyone's chasing up here. They did that. Okay. And everyone shorting down here thinking it's going down there that too. Right. And I've mentioned in the main chat 4.3. If you want a clear confirmation, wait for that but there is really not much meat left if you look at that 4.3 you see this area where this stock has been trading i don't know for the last week or so right four to uh 350 so ideally like you don't have any mid left you look if you look at that i mean here 4.4 that's pretty much the base okay 
how can you be shorting thinking it's going down to 350? I mean, it's been uh, hovering around this area for like a week now. And to me, this is like the dead bottom already. I mean, yes, I could be wrong. Sometimes it could go to 4 or 3.8. I don't know. But this is pretty much like, look at this. Resistance becomes support. This is like the dead bottom. Okay. If you want to wait for crack 4.3, you, you know, need to watch to 4.2, bounce back, and then, you know, uh, basically type that line kind of play. But on this one, you know, when I notice that, I know that this is like pretty much like the bottom already, right? And also acting so crazy as a support. And then what happens is this candle, okay? Everyone is thinking it's going down. I mean, it's, it's really trending down, right? I mean, the trend looks so nice, grinding, grinding here and crack. And when it's trying to crack this, couldn't, save, and boom. Okay, boom, right, right back at this. And I said, okay, this is, like, if you are short bias and when you see this, this is like, like, Pretty much like get the fuck out, uh, excuse my language, but uh, get the fuck out uh, kind of candle, right? You don't want to be a part of it. I don't care. Uh, you know, CF. There's another example here today. Okay. Like this, guys. Right? Top set. Bounce back, growing lower below view app. I mean, yes, this one is a little bit different. It has some sort of news around that time. So that's a different, but you know, you see this candle, kind of boom, right back. Okay, support becomes re resistant through that, through that, through even this resistance. This to me is the reverse candle. And you know, like this is like pretty much like get the fuck out candle if you short. Same thing with long, right? The death candle we've been talking about, right? There's so many example here. See, like when you're trying to go long, running higher, grinding higher, and boom, down. That's the, you know, pretty much same thing. Get a fuck up for long, right? And so you want to kind of, I mean, I'm not saying that you, should uh you know trade that or like you need to take advantage of that but at least know that so you can avoid you know at least like losing more money than you should 